Because I always tell women this. I'm going to show you better than I'm going to tell you. The moment you start acting, acting stupid, I'm gone. You will not hear from me. All right, fellas, fellas, fellas. Welcome back. Welcome back. I know I've been on the road. I know I've been busy. I haven't been putting out content like that because life been life. You know, so many different changes, new beginnings, the whole nine. But this particular episode, gentlemen, I want to talk about how to deal with disrespectful women. And gentlemen, it is a simple answer. But the reason why I make this video is because a lot of you men make it difficult. Y'all make something so simple, so difficult. The solution to dealing with disrespectful women, gentlemen, you don't, don't deal with them. You do not deal with disrespectful women. Because I always tell women this, I'm gonna show you better than I'm gonna tell you. The moment you start acting, acting stupid, I'm gone. You will not hear from me. You will not have access to me. I cannot deal, I do not deal with disrespectful women. Some of you guys tolerate disrespectful women because that's all you can get. You guys settle for stupid shit. A lot of you fellas settle for dumb behavior. And it gets me so mad that you guys have to negotiate bad behavior. And that just shows me that you, one, have a low self-esteem and two, you don't truly value yourself as much as you claim you do. But your decisions dictate otherwise. You're still dealing with this disrespectful chick. This chick doesn't care about you. And honestly, gentlemen, you don't even have to pop off on her. You just don't deal with her. Now, what I'm saying, I'm not saying, you know, relationships are supposed to be perfect. You know, when you get to know somebody, it's supposed to be perfect. But when a person outwardly disrespects you, embarrasses you, yells at you in public, curses you out in front of her friends, curses you out in front of her family, curses you out in public, that's what you call a disrespectful woman. You don't deal with that. Not on this side, not in the men's self-improvement side. We don't deal with disrespectful women. A woman that truly respects you, if she has to disagree with you, she's gonna do it in a calm manner. And if she has to exert her voice and, and yell, y'all could do it behind closed doors. Now, one thing I don't do is women raising their voice at me. I don't do that. I don't tolerate that. Why do we gotta yell? Let's talk about it. Let's discuss these hard conversations. That's why it's important that, to be intentional and clear with them from the, from the beginning. It's up to them to kind of figure it out. But in other ways, a lot of them still act up. A lot of them still act up. That's why you got to be very, very careful with the kind of women that you allow. How much women have access to you. Trust me. I know. I've experienced it on numerous occasions. But when it comes to disrespectful women, gentlemen, you do not deal with them. I'll be, you know, I'll be out in public going to the grocery store or I'm at work and I see interactions between couples. And one of the things I see most often in today's society, which is so sad, is men being disrespected by their lady. She's controlling them. Pick up that shit on the floor. He does it. You ain't shit. All these different things. She's calling him the B word right in front of me. Don't even know me from a lick of paint. Like I'm seeing these interactions. I'm like, do you dudes have any type of value within yourselves where you're allowing somebody to disrespect you? You're not supposed to let people disrespect you, period. But I'm in this particular video, I'm talking about a disrespectful woman. The moment you have a disrespectful woman, gentlemen, you lost. You're done. The moment she got the remote control in your life, you are done. You're supposed to have the remote control in your life. You're supposed to lead the relationship. You're supposed to make plans. You're supposed to initiate. She's supposed to respect you. But the moment you have no respect, she has no respect for you, you're done. You're done. 
I see so many guys go through it. So many guys go through it. And it's pretty disappointing. Why are you guys allowing these women to disrespect you? Because you can't get nobody else? Is it because her little poom poom is good? You fellas got to stop, man. You guys truly got to value yourselves. Some of y'all claim it, but your actions don't show it. You're playing, you're letting these girls play these head games with you. And you're confused. You don't know. You have uncertainty about her. You should never be in a situation where you have uncertainty about a woman. Literally. So many of you guys put yourself in situations where you're in confusion. Is she disrespecting me? I mean, she cursed me out yesterday. I mean, she was real nice to me the next day. No, bruh. She disrespected you. That means she don't respect you. Like I always tell women, the women I deal with, I always tell them, I can show you better than I can tell you. You start to wonder, oh my gosh, why aren't you hitting me up as much? The moment you try me one time, that is a wrap. There's no coming back. I'm a one cut and go kind of guy. You try me one time, it's a wrap. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I made in the past, gentlemen, I allowed a lot of disrespect back in the day. Before I became fully aware within myself, before I went to the therapy, before I truly understood me, there was a time where I allowed women to disrespect me, raise their voice, emasculate me, talk me any kind of way in front of their friends, talk me any kind of way in front of my family members. Talk me any kind of way on the phone. Telling me I'm not man enough. Tell me all these different things. These were old relationships, you know, during my 20s. But my 30s, I have not allowed that. And I will not allow that moving forward. Any chick that disrespects me, I can show you better than I can tell you. Trust me. But you must remain calm. You got to set boundaries. You got to address that behavior. You got to listen. You got to be poised. Don't let her punk you. Show that you're an authoritative figure. Don't show that you're the weaker man. And I know when people watch this video, they're going to think, oh, this is toxic masculinity. No, it's not. Because I see so many guys don't respect themselves because they're afraid to hurt her feelings. Because they don't have full confidence within themselves. That's the problem with a lot of guys today. Modern men, we got to fix it. We got to stand up. But before you stand up, you got to truly value yourself. I'm going to ask you this. Like, be honest. Look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself. Do I truly value myself? Do I really have self-respect for myself? Now, number two, you must look and think. Think about the decision you made. Think about the decisions you make. Do you truly respect yourself? Because if you don't respect yourself, how could a woman respect you? You got to display self-respect. And once you dis display self-respect, she's going to follow your lead and realize, wow, this man truly respects himself. And he's not going to let me... Talk to him any kind of way. I'm not going to talk to my man any kind of way. I'm going to show you better. I'm going to tell you. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> and for the rest of my life. And that's how you men need to have that abundance mindset. Gentlemen, I've been in relationships where I was called out of my name. And, you know, told all these different things. Because I allowed it. I allowed that behavior. When a disrespectful woman comes in place, that is your fault. It's either your job to check her without yelling or calling her the B word or any of that. You just call me, tell her, hey, yelling, disrespect is not tolerated here because they will try you. All women will put you through a shit test just to see what kind of guy you are. But you must remain poised. I know the emotion. I know you can get pissed off. But you must remain poised. But you want to think to yourself and tell her, hey, 
This is not tolerated. If I have to repeat myself one more time, it's a wrap. And if they continue not listen, show them. Hang up the phone. Be gone. This ain't about being petty. This is about self-respect. So gentlemen, how to deal with a disrespectful woman? You don't deal with them. You find somebody who respects you. You find somebody who values you. You find somebody who wants to help you become the best version of yourself. You want to find somebody who's going to make your life better. Or not even make your life better. Help your life better. Put some positivity in your life. Some of y'all dudes are turned on by a disrespectful woman. Some of y'all like that kinky stuff. I remember one time I saw a video on Twitter. And it was a video of a, a girl slapping this guy. And he was so turned on by that. I've never heard no junk like that. Like this is the state of men that work. That, that, that This is where men are at today. Some of their kinks is being slapped. Or being punched. How's that a turn on? You're being abused. That is a problem. And this is why I always tell guys, before you get in any type of relationship, you got to self-heal yourself. You got to get better within yourself. You got to understand who you are. How are you going to be able to lead somebody if you don't know who you are? I want you to take that into consideration, gentlemen. Think. How are you going to be able to lead if you don't know yourself? How are you going to be able to lead if you don't respect yourself? If there's no self-respect, if there's no self-respect, she's going to run through you. She's going to argue with you every time. She's going to talk to you like your little boy. So again, it's better to show them better than you can tell them. We don't have time for no talk. Show them. But gentlemen, I'm just trying to look out for y'all. Just trying to look out for y'all. Gentlemen, if you find any value in this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And gentlemen, check out. As a matter of fact, gentlemen, if you're going through any particular hard time, when you feel stuck in life, you feel unmotivated, hit the link in the description box, book a session with me, and I promise you, I'm going to make sure I get you to the next level. Peace from Jay the Professor.